Hi, my name is Dr. Karen Louise, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to reclaim your power and heal your life. So many of us feel powerful for so much of our lives, and the truth is, the power that we're looking for actually resides within us. I have found a pathway to finding that power, and I wanna share it with you. I'm gonna do it in this video below. Let's get started. One of the quickest ways to feel empowered is to connect back to your purpose in life. Why are you here? The why I know can feel hard to find, right? So many people are like, what is my calling? Why am I here? Well, here's the deal. That can evolve over time. Yes, there are certain people that know from a young child what their purpose is, but for most of us, it's an evolution, right? So it can change over time and grow and evolve. So. The way to find your way to the calling on your life right now is to pay attention to something that's super simple, and that is what lights you up and what turns you off. It really is that easy to figure out. So in your calling, you wanna know what makes your spirit light up, what makes you feel this feeling of expansion, of happiness, of anticipation, what's next. That is going to be connected to what your purpose is here. So the opposite of that is paying attention to things that make you feel contracted because those things are not a part of your life calling. Even if they were at one time, you've evolved past them. One of the main ways that you can tell if something is no longer a part of your life's path, your life's purpose, is it makes you feel dread when you think about doing it. Dread is the number one sign from your spirit body, your emotional body, that something that something or someone that you used to be in alignment with is no longer in alignment with you. And so every time you are experiencing that thing or that person, you are actually giving your power away. It's no longer in alignment with what your purpose is. It's actually taking power that is meant to go towards your life purpose. So then you have the choice of whether you would like to stay in that situation and with that person, or if you want to move more into your purpose, more into your power, and more into reclaiming your life, it might be the time that you, with grace and with love, step away from that job or that relationship that is no longer serving you. Thank it for why it was here. Thank it for helping you grow because every relationship, opportunity, experience is called into your life on a soul level to help you grow. So you can offer gratitude and with grace, move on with your life, let go of them, let them know that you're releasing them, that you no longer feel in alignment with that position in your life or that person in your life, and ask God to show you the next steps towards what you are meant to be in alignment with. But I want you to pay attention to is where your energy is going. What are you giving your power away to? Because when we are giving our power away to maybe an overbearing mother, an overbearing boss, a fussy neighbor, whoever it is, the amount of time that you're choosing to spend with this person on talking about the relationship or analyzing it is all energy, right? And you've only got a certain amount of energy and energy is where your power comes from. So even if you're just complaining about how bad that situation is with whoever it is, you're giving your power away. Do you really want that person to take that power away from you? The answer is no. They're not supposed to hold that big of a place in your life. So be aware that every time you're complaining or focusing on someone that you don't feel in alignment with anymore, you are giving your power away and that's something that you can change in this moment. So start catching yourself every time you start engaging in that kind of energetic expression. Realize that that power actually can be used as a reserve for you and then funnel towards your purpose and your life calling. Now, before I gave you the final ways to really keep a strong hold on your power, reclaiming your life. If you like this video and this content, please go ahead and click the like button and subscribe to my channel because I have videos like this coming out every single week to help you empower yourself and live the life that you were meant to live. Back to the video. Taking power and control back over your life is being the CSO, the chief soul officer, over what you're gonna be doing moving forward, okay? We're no longer focusing on the past or any negative feelings that have held you back. We're looking towards things that are empowering you. And in that empowered state, as you're trying to get momentum moving forward, that is you taking control of your here and now and your future. We're gonna be looking forward and in doing that, you can be in charge of your vibration on a daily basis. And that is the most empowering thing that you can do by instead of giving your energy and your your power to low vibrational things. And that means things that make you feel frustrated, make you feel sad, make you feel angry. Those things in the past are in the past. We wanna let go of those things that bring you down, that hold you back. And the more you're taking charge and self-correcting along the way, and one of the simplest ways you can do that is when those thoughts come up and you give your power to them for that moment, literally just say to yourself, pick a better thought. Pick a better thought. Stop, 
pick a better thought. I did that in the carpool line the other day. I was uh, festering over something that had upset me. And now that I've been practicing this for a while, it's become kind of second nature to me, which it's gonna be for you if you if you hang in here with me and do this over time. But the mere practice that we've created in our lives of ruminating over all these negative feelings take power over us when we're giving our energy away. In that moment, catch yourself, think a better thought. It is that easy. Think about something you're grateful for. Think about a song you love. Think about your kids, the way they laughed last night when they were singing in bed. Think about anything that makes you feel happier in that moment. You will have an immediate energetic shift and that is you taking power back over your life. Now, the final way for you to take power back from my perspective is to really commit to a daily practice where you are putting something in place daily because what happens when you've established a habit like that in your life, maybe you like most of the population has gotten in the habit of immediately picking up your cell phone in the morning and checking email, getting frustrated this person wants that from you. Everybody wants everything from you. That is going to set your vibration onto a really low level and disempower you in the morning. So if you can start a daily practice, not pick up any electronics, picture your life the way that you want it to be. Picture what you're grateful about. Picture future you living her or his best life, getting abundance flowing into your life. Sit in that moment of manifestation where you're feeling grateful, where you can see where your life is going. Picture yourself empowered. What are you doing when you're stepping in power? What are you wearing? What, what kind of handbag are you carrying? What restaurant are you going to? Let your imagination play as you lay there in the morning before touching any electronics because your imagination is actually your soul's play ground. That is your soul manifesting what you truly desire. Just go wild with it and think about how happy your life can be and really feel yourself in the moments of that happiness. And that is how you energetically will attract those things into your life. And the final thing is that you take inspired action towards the life that you want. This is the key that's going to make you feel the most powerful as you move into your future. Follow the impulses of your heart to go into that coffee shop, to call that person that you've put off calling, to write the first page in your book. That thing that makes you feel like you're having momentum towards what lights you up in your life. That's how you reclaim your life and get your power back. So if you felt excited about being able to empower your life and becoming your own chief soul officer of your life, I have a free training that's going to give you three keys to activating that rebel soul inside of you that is tired of living life the way you used to live it and is ready to launch a brand new, highly elevated life of love and abundance and prosperity. Click the link below to get your spot.